The wrestling world has been abuzz ever since The Undertaker announced his intentions never to wrestle again at the conclusion of the Last Ride documentary series. It appears as though after 30 long years, the dead man has laced up a pair of boots for the final time, and the tributes have been pouring in. We here at Sportskeeda have done several ourselves, which you can find right here on our YouTube page. In the meantime, how about one more? Another one. One of the most significant talking points about The Undertaker's iconic WWE tenure has to be his WrestleMania winning streak. 21 consecutive victories, and many thought it would remain intact until his retirement. While the streak did eventually come to an end thanks to Brock Lesnar, it should also be noted that many WWE superstars actually refused nope. to be the one in 21 and one, or say 12 and one, or whenever they were supposedly going to win. Who were they and why did they let go of such a lucrative opportunity? Well, I'm Rick Uchino, and here are five WWE superstars who refused to conquer the streak. Number five, Edge. The rated R superstar was heavily rumored to be the one to break the streak back in 2008, and it was later confirmed in an interview in the New York Post when The Undertaker's wife, Michelle McCool, revealed that Edge was supposed to pick up the win over the Phenom at WrestleMania 24. That was until he flat out refused the offer, saying that it made zero sense. And to his point, he was right. Edge felt that a win over The Undertaker was not going to do anything for his career. By 2008, Edge was already a multi-time world champion and one of the top guys in the company. He didn't need that victory. The Rated R Superstar felt it was best for that honor to go to someone who could use it to help catapult their career. So it's a damn good thing they kept it around for a few more years for that young up-and-coming Brock Lesnar guy to finally be the one to get the big victory. <clears throat> yeah. Moving on, shall we? Number four, Mark Henry, another man that was rumored to be the one to get to end the winning streak of The Undertaker at WrestleMania, was the world's strongest man. In an interview with Heavy, Henry stated that there were certain conversations of him being the one to defeat the dead man at the show of shows, but those plans were eventually nixed, and no one ever approached him directly about it. But Henry claims that even if they had, he would have readily refused that offer as he didn't want to carry that weight. To see the lasting legacy that The Undertaker has left on a fellow Hall of Famer is a credit to his body of work. Henry and Taker's WrestleMania match was a moment that neither man will likely ever forget, and the respect they have for one another is clearly evident. Number three, the Viper, Randy Orton. While he does carry the moniker, the legend killer, there was one legend that Randy Orton might have refused to kill, at least when it comes to the WrestleMania streak of The Undertaker. In a previous interview with Yahoo Sports, the Apex Predator recalled his feud with the Phenom back in 2005 when he was only 25 years old. Orton stated that he was young and inexperienced and was really nervous before the match, but did trust the dead man to make sure that they delivered and they did. The interesting part is in that same interview, Orton claimed that The Undertaker's streak and WrestleMania went hand in hand, and it would not have made sense for the Phenom to pick up a loss that night. While he never exactly said that he was supposed to end the streak at WrestleMania 21, that interview does suggest that similar discussions might have happened backstage before their match. Number two, Kurt Angle. One of the more interesting names that refused to break the WrestleMania streak of The Undertaker is that of the WWE Hall of Famer and Olympic gold medalist. In what was likely before 2012, Angle revealed in an interview how he was approached with the idea of breaking the streak by the dead man himself. In early 2006, Kurt Angle was the World Heavyweight Champion, and according to him, Taker wanted to have a five-star match at WrestleMania and was ready to suffer a loss at the Grand to stage of them all if Angle gave him that kind of a fight. Vince McMahon, however, reportedly scrapped such a proposal, and Angle supported the decision to do so. Although their WrestleMania match never took place, The Undertaker and Kurt Angle ended up having a match at No Way Out, and it was no less than the five-star match that the Phenom wanted. Oh, and yes, Angle did retain his World Heavyweight Championship that night. And last but certainly not least, number one, The Beast. Brock Lesnar. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the man who actually did break the streak did not want to. 
The relationship between Brock Lesnar and The Undertaker behind the scenes has long been recognized. These two have great respect for one another. And in an interview, Jim Ross and Shawn Michaels revealed that, like other superstars before him, Brock Lesnar refused to be the one to pick up the win over The Undertaker at WrestleMania 30. However, the higher-ups had already made the call, and they were not willing to change. Nope. And we are all well aware of what happened next one of the most shocking moments in the history of the WWE. And frankly, if it wasn't for a number of superstars like the ones on this list, the streak would not have gained the mystique that it did, and we never would have had that moment. So what do you think? Was it the right decision to end the Undertaker streak at WrestleMania 30? And was Brock Lesnar the right guy to do it? Don't forget to let us know in the comments below.